It's some 4,000 miles from the east coast of Florida to County Cork, Ireland, but the distance narrowed a bit for one woman on a quest to find her birth mother. First Coast News investigative reporter Ann Schindler brings us this story. They said that you had abandoned him as a baby. I did not abandon my child. The Oscar-nominated movie Philomena was the first time most people learned about the dark side of Ireland's convents and the forced adoptions that occurred in some. But it wasn't news to Catherine Deasy. I had bright orange hair and freckles. They told my mother that's the last you'll see of your daughter, and you're never to see her again or seek her out. Deasy was one of tens of thousands of children born in so-called mother-baby homes in Ireland, run by the Catholic Church, they served as a refuge for girls in trouble, unmarried and pregnant. But while they provided a place to live, the trade-off was cruel. They were all enslaved there. Forced to cut their hair and work in total silence, many suffered abuse. Worst of all, they were forced to give up any claim to their children. The babies were adopted and in some cases sold to families in the United States, which is exactly what happened to Catherine Deasy. At four and a half, she was placed on a plane to New York City. I just remember how confused I was and frightened. I felt like I stuck out like a sore thumb. For almost two decades, DC's own search was unsuccessful. But with the help of an adoption activist, the two finally connected. And in 2002, she traveled to Ireland and met her mother for the first time. I'm your daughter. Huh? I'm your daughter. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Oh, my God. It wasn't easy to learn her mother's story. After her daughter was taken, Joanna Sheehy spent the rest of her adult life working in an industrial laundry run by the church. As punishment for being pregnant and not married. But on that first trip to Ireland and several since then, she was also able to meet the family she never knew she had. Second cousins. And make a connection she had missed her whole life. Are you happy to see me? I will see you again. Yeah. Yeah. I found you and I'm gonna keep you. I lived with that with that that insecurity, you know, for many, many years, not knowing the truth. So when I found out the truth from my own mother, you know, that she loved me and she wanted me and it broke her heart, that's all I needed to hear. And that's Ann Chandler tonight. Thank you, Ann. Terrific bit of reporting there.